and welcome back to my channel. As you already probably read the title of this video, I am going to be printmaking today. So I've been wanting to do some more printmaking lately because I haven't done it for a really long time and I bought myself a bunch of printmaking supplies like a month ago and I still haven't gotten around to using them so I thought today I would finally put them to some use. And I honestly haven't done any printmaking for like two, I think, years now because the last time I was doing printmaking was also the first time I was doing printmaking because I decided to take a college course in it which I had no idea what I was signing up for but I ended up having a really fun time in that class and I just really love this art form because it's just a very relaxing thing to do and it's a very interesting process to me so I was very excited to pull out all of my old supplies and start working again and so I had this idea to do this print at like 4 a.m. the night before I was taking this video and the next day was a Monday and I obviously had lectures to watch and everything so I decided to just throw on my earbuds and just sketch out my big design while I watch all my lectures which ended up being a very lovely time so I'm doing this kind of fun design with these like vines around it and this little center with a duck on it um, I don't really know why I chose a duck but I've been really liking ducks lately so I put a duck in it and so this was just kind of to give me a reference before I start using markers on my actual printing plate so that I don't make mistakes and have to kind of scribble over things. I always like to have a pretty set idea before I start working. So now I'm going to go ahead and sketch out my design on the actual rubber block. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch it out with my Sharpies and then it's time to start carving it. Right, so I finally finished drawing the whole thing out so now it is time to start carving it so I'm going to take this bench hook and this is just one that my dad made me a while ago so this part hooks on to my table and then this part keeps my block steady while I'm carving it so that I'm less likely to cut myself and then I have my little carving tool and this one is also by speedball it just comes with a bunch of different carvers so I'm going to go ahead and start carving it. When you do block prints, you're carving everything that you want to be white out of it. So that when you put ink on it, all the ink is on the top layers of stuff that you haven't carved.
Okay, so yesterday I was able to make some pretty good progress and I carved out all of the leaves and I think that they look pretty cute but I think I might go back with one of my smaller carving tools and kind of clean up all the edges so they're a little bit sharper. But so now I think I'm going to start tackling these little circular pieces that I have on it. flowers was definitely the most nerve-wracking part of this whole process just because I tend to make little tiny mistakes when I outline things like this if I don't go slow enough so I was definitely taking my time with this process but the whole thing actually went by pretty quickly and another thing I really love about printmaking is that it's a very easy hobby to just kind of pick up and move around with you so on the weekend I even ended up just taking my printmaking with me to our little cabin at our ranch so I ended up just packing my bench hook my carving tool and my printmaking plate and just taking it all with me where I continue to just work on carving the flowers over there. A lot of progress on my carving and it is looking pretty good I'm actually pretty happy with it and so right now I am outlining all of the little flowers so they're white and have a little black outline around them and this is definitely the trickiest part on this carving because one little slip up and I kind of ruin a whole entire flower so I haven't made any mistakes yet so I'm really hoping I don't make any and I'm already three-fourths of the way through it so Fingers crossed it all goes well. And so to do this, I am taking my smallest little carving tool and I'm outlining all of the little flowers. And then I'm going back in with one of my wider tools and digging out all the areas so that I have a really crisp line. So I carved all of the flowers and I went ahead and did the little leaves right here coming out of the little center with the duck in it. So the very last thing to do is carve the duck, which I am a little bit nervous about doing because I'm not totally sure how I'm going to carve it and I really want to make sure it still looks like a duck. So I think I'm just going to use the littlest tool and kind of just carve out some little tiny face features and try to do some texturing on it and hope it looks good. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I should be able to start printing it, which I'm really excited about. I want to see how it turned out. Okay, I think I am done carving it. So I am actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I don't see any big mistakes that I made, and I really hope it looks good when I actually start printing it, because sometimes it's hard to tell when it's still just a mat right now. And I was going to wait until tomorrow to print it, but I think I'm too excited. I think I want to do a few tonight. So I think I'm going to set up a little hanging area for it, 
and get all my inks and prepare my area so I don't stain everything in my room. Okay, so I have everything set up ready to start printing. So I have just a mat down, I have this clear board to put my ink on, and then I have just my bunch of different speedball inks I'm going to be using. And then on that wall, like I showed you guys, I set up a little line where I can hang them all to dry. And then I have some printmaking paper that I'm going to be using to print on. And I also made a little template of where I want the mat to go. And then so I could put match the paper on top of that to make sure that they're all centered. So the first color I'm going to do is I'm going to do two black and then I'm going to do two auburn. And I think I'm going to start with the black one first and then I'll wash it off and switch colors. So when you are finally done carving and ready to start doing some prints, you're just going to take your ink and take your brayer and roll out some ink until it has a very nice and even consistency and then you're going to carefully put a pretty nice coat over your printing block and then instead of like a stamp where you put your block on top of your paper you're going to lay your paper carefully over the center of your print and then you're going to take your baron which is the little hand pressing tool and you're just going to press all of the edges and make sure that you don't miss a spot so that everything has a nice even coat and this is my first print and it's not perfect, there were a few bare spots. So on the next one, I just made sure to do a few more coats of the ink before I pressed it. And my second black print was definitely my best one of the day. Alright, so it is the next day, and here are all of my finished prints! I am pretty happy with how they turned out. I think they look pretty cool. I got one really good one from the black ink, and it took me an extra try that I thought it would on the orange print, but I am pretty happy with both of them. And so this print took me three days to carve, and in that third day I was also able to print them, so it didn't take me too long to do this whole process. And now I can also keep the mat, which is pretty fun, so if I want to do more in the future and just print some more for like my friends or for myself to hang up somewhere, which I think is a really fun aspect of printmaking, so you can just keep making as many as you want, which is basically the whole purpose. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you liked this video, and it kind of taught you guys more a little bit about printmaking, or if you want to try it yourself, kind of gave you some inspiration too. Um, I post videos every Friday if you guys want to see more of my content, and thanks for hanging out with me! Bye! <laughs>